This is Grade 11 Physics, Unit 5, Electricity, Lesson 4, Mixed Circuit. In this question, it asks to analyze the following circuit to solve for the current and potential difference through each resistor. So we're given a complicated circuit with resistors both in series and parallel. We're going to start by making a chart. We'll write down the voltage, current, and resistance for all five of our resistors. We can start by adding all the resistances because those are given in the question. Now going back and looking at the circuit, we need to make this circuit a little bit more simple before we can solve it. Looking at resistance 1 and resistance 2, these are two resistors in series. We can simplify this a little bit by replacing those two resistors with one resistor that has an equivalent resistance of the two combined. Now in series, we do this by simply adding the resistance of the two resistors. So let's call this R12, and we're going to set that equal to R1 plus R2, which gives us a resistance of 900 ohms. This gives us a circuit which is still a mixed circuit. We have both resistors in parallel and in series. But we can simplify it again by looking at the fact that R12, R3, and R4 are all in parallel, and we can replace these three resistors in parallel with one equivalent resistor. To do this, we're going to have to solve for R equivalent with the equation 1 over REQ equals 1 over R12 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4. When we input our values and solve for R equivalent, we get a equivalent resistance of 400 ohms. And this leaves us with a very simple series circuit, where we can solve for the total resistance as REQ, or R1234, as I have written in the circuit, plus R5, which gives us a total resistance of 1000 ohms. Knowing the total potential difference, we can now use Ohm's Law to calculate the total current in the circuit, which gives us a total current of 0.2 amps. Now, since we know the total current, and since this is a series circuit, the current through a series circuit is the same through each resistor. So we know the current through R1234 and R5. So we can use Ohm's Law to calculate the potential difference through our first resistor, which gives us a potential difference of 80 volts. We could use Ohm's Law again for the next resistor, or we can use Kirchhoff's Voltage Law, which says that the total voltage through a series circuit is equal to the sum of the voltage drops across each resistor. So that would mean the total voltage equals the potential difference across R equivalent and plus the potential difference across R5. Rearranging, we can get a potential difference of 120 volts. Now we can record the information onto our chart and go back to a little bit more complicated circuit where we're going to split R1, 2, 3, 4 back into R1, 2, R3, and R4. And we do that by realizing that the potential difference through resistors in parallel is all the same. And since we know the potential difference through R1, 2, 3, 4 to be 80 volts, we know that the potential difference through R1, 2 is 80 volts, through R3 is 80 volts, and through R4 is 80 volts. And then we can use Ohm's Law for each to calculate the current through each of those resistors. Through I12, we get 4 over 45 amps. Through R3, we get 2 over 45 amps. And for R4, we can use Ohm's Law again, or we can use Kirchhoff's Current Law for a parallel circuit, which says that the current through each parallel resistor adds to give the total current. And if we do it this way, we can get I4 to be 1 over 15 amps. Now we can finally go back to our original circuit after recording our information, where we split up R12 back into R1 and R2. Now those resistors are in series, and we know through a series circuit, the current is the same. Now the current through I12 was 4 over 45 amps. So we know the current through R1 is 4 over 45 amps, and the current through R2 is 4 over 45 amps. Knowing that, 
we can once again go back and use Ohm's law to solve for the potential difference through both resistors. And we finally get the potential difference through R1 to be 320 over 9 volts and R2 to be 400 over 9 volts. And now we found everything the question could have.